Welcome to this tutorial on unbalanced and balanced signals. All leads are prone to radio frequency RF interference from electromagnetic radiation caused by radio waves, adjacent electronic circuits and devices and even the sun's rays. This is because they behave like antennas. Also, cables have a property called resistance which is like friction to an electrical signal causing signals to lose some of their energy, particularly high frequencies. The longer the lead is, the more problematic these issues become. Balanced format signals eliminate these issues and are favoured by professionals for all applications, even if they are not always required. Unbalanced format signals are cheaper to implement, requiring simpler electronics and cheaper leads and are therefore favoured for cost-effective applications where long leads are not required. In short leads, carrying loud line and speaker level signals, the interference and energy loss is rarely noticeable, and a cable with a single live core and surrounding earth shield is usually adequate. This arrangement is called unbalanced. Devices with unbalanced connections include built-in computer sound cards or interfaces, synthesizers and keyboards, consumer hi-fi, cost-effective hardware, EQ, effects and dynamic processors, cost-effective audio interfaces and analog to digital converters, guitar amplifiers and headphones. In all long leads and leads carrying very quiet signals such as mic signals the interference and degradation can become noticeable. A professional balanced wiring arrangement is required to better protect the signal. A balanced lead requires a cable with two cores or poles live in return and a surrounding earth shield. A connector such as an XLR or TRS quarter inch jack plug is required. Balanced wiring only works if the devices being interconnected have balanced sockets. Using a balanced cable to interconnect two unbalanced devices will result in a usable but unbalanced signal. Balanced leads have three advantages over their unbalanced counterparts. Firstly, they completely eliminate interference. Second, little or no signal strength is lost over long cables in particular, the most vulnerable high frequencies are maintained. And lastly, they can carry phantom power alongside the audio signal. In a balanced lead, phantom power travels in the opposite direction and in a different phase relationship to the audio signals, so they do not interfere with each other. Devices with balanced connections include microphones, mic preamplifiers, DI boxes, mixers, professional EQ effects and dynamic processors, professional audio interfaces and analog to digital converters, professional multi-track tape recorders, and active studio monitors. Balanced leads eliminate interference and maintain a strong signal using a process called common mode rejection. The transmitting device, such as a microphone, makes a copy of the positive signal and reverses its phase. This copy is referred to as the negative or return and it travels in its own separate core wire. During the journey down the wire, both the positive and negative cores may become contaminated by interference, which the shield has failed to block. However, when they arrive at the receiving device, the negative signal, which includes the interference, is phased reverse once again back to positive and combined with the other positive signal. The interference components of the two signals are now out of phase and thus eliminated, whilst the two positive signals have a combined amplitude resulting in a strong signal with little or no high frequency signal loss. The script for this tutorial, with accompanying screenshots, can be found at projectstudiohandbook.com. And finally, 
please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel or at the website to get instant notification of new videos as they are uploaded. And please do click on the ads of interest to you. We're a free resource and they help to pay our costs. Thanks very much for watching.